quick down and dirty no bullshit video how to put a parameter gauge and a boost gauge on your 6.7 power stroke mine's a 2020 your mileage may vary um got a gauge kit from uh, glow shift gauges and we'll start with the boost gauge first thing i did was here on the egr inlet the intake manifold i removed the stock thermocouple that was here um, she just disconnects right there as you can see and this harness came with the gauge kit as well as the transducer the pressure transducer so what i did was i bought an adapter from amazon it's a m12 by 1.25 by an npt 1 8 um, so the truck side is the m12 by 1.25 and you have the national pipe taper 1 8 inch on the other side for the uh, transducer so all I did was put some uh, uh, thread sealant here, and that's it. What you can do on the stock thermocouples, which you see right here, um, once you remove it, you can depin the connector. The way you do that is you see this white T in here, the bottom part. You just pinch with the needle nose and pull up slightly. It might come up maybe a quarter inch, eighth inch, somewhere in the ballpark. And right above on the top of the tees, you see those little saddles just below the pins. You stick a paper clip, it's just any standard paper clip like that, down on that hole. And then whichever one you have it, whichever side you have it on, you just pull from the back and the pins will come right out. Uh, the reason I say that is because what I ended up doing was taking this plug and instead of buying one of those shivy plug kits or whatever the hell they call it for a hundred something bucks, I just uh, put a little bit of RTV gasket maker in the back, let it set up, and then I plug it into the uh, back side of the plug here so it sealed it off. Um, quick and easy, no issues. So this here sealed right up, no problems whatsoever. Um, the next thing for the thermocouple, an awesome place to mount it so just here right before the turbo inlet on this turbo inlet pipe um, I pulled the stock thermocouple out of here Let's see if I can zoom in and I inserted the probe that came with the glow shift kit um, again I deep pinned the connector um, and then I took the nut that's there and um, basically, here's what they look like when they're, the stock ones are flat, like this. If I could get it out. Come on, brother. Killing me. Whatever. The ring there's flat on the inside. I took a drill bit, and I made it kind of recessed because the thermocouple probe that comes with the glow, uh, glow shift kit, it has a uh, copper ferrule in there. That's a crush ferrule to seal it up. So I wanted to have a better seal on it. And then, um, yeah, that's it. I just took that and I tightened it down. And it sealed up perfectly. So you can't use an adapter like this for a couple of reasons. One, um, the turbo inlet back there where the parameter goes, it's a larger diameter than this M12. I don't remember what it is exactly. Maybe an M14, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't have to use it anyway. I made it work. Um, the other reason is the pyrometer or the actual uh, thermocouple probe that came with the kit, it's too long. It's too too fat as well. It wouldn't fit all the way down inside here to where it needed to sit in the actual pipe. So I scrapped that idea, went to plan B, and uh, that was a reuse the stock nut that was on there. Um, beyond that... Show you what we're working with here. Here's the gauge setup itself on a dashboard. Probably flashing. I don't know. But uh, you can see how I put her here. Turn this off. Okay. Yeah, so she pulled the tray out. Real simple, drilled the hole in there so I could fit the wires through and the leads, and uh, easy day. 
And what I ended up buying another uh, normally open switch from Amazon and drilled the hole, put it right here. It's like a dim it. I don't know if you can notice that or not. It doesn't dim a whole lot, but that's the way they are from the uh, from the company. Definitely helps at night. Um, being up here on the dashboard, it doesn't really bug me at night. The way you do it, put it in red. Uh, the red side is um, much better at night. It doesn't bug me. But a uh, bunch of different colors. I just prefer the red for the hot side here for the EGT. The blue on the boost side. Work like a champ. So that's it. Um, this will only work on the truck if it's uh, been on a diet because you have to disconnect your stock thermal couples. Other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching.